Acts 24, 16-27 Paul states his defense continued. Believe me, I do my level best to keep a clear conscience before God and my neighbors in everything I do. I've been out of the country for a number of years, and now I'm back. While I was away, I took up a collection for the poor and brought that with me, along with offerings for the temple. It was while making those offerings that they found me quietly at my prayers in the temple. There was no crowd. There was no disturbance. It was some Jews from around Ephesus who started all this trouble. And you'll notice they're not here today. They're cowards too cowardly to accuse me in front of you. So ask these others what crime they've caught me in. Don't let them hide behind this smooth-talking Tertullus. The only thing they have on me is that one sentence I shouted out in the council. It's because I believe in the resurrection that I've been hauled into this court. Does that sound to you like grounds for a criminal case? Felix shilly-shallied. He knew far more about the way than he let on, and could have settled the case then and there. But uncertain of his best move politically, he played for time. When Captain Lysias comes down, I'll decide your case. He gave orders to the centurion to keep Paul in custody, but to more or less give him the run of the place and not prevent his friends from helping him. A few days later, Felix and his wife, Drusilla, who was Jewish, sent for Paul and listened to him talk about a life of believing in Jesus Christ. As Paul continued to insist on right relations with God and his people, about a life of moral discipline and the coming judgment, Felix felt things getting a little too close for comfort and dismissed him. That's enough for today. I'll call you back when it's convenient. At the same time, he was secretly hoping that Paul would offer him a substantial bribe. These conversations were repeated frequently. After two years of this, Felix was replaced by Porcius Festus. Still playing up to the Jews and ignoring justice, Felix left Paul in prison.